Hey everyone, it's David. I'm back again making a little video about 18650 batteries and things such as um, power banks and uh, fans. So I'm going to show you uh, what I've been working on this summer and what things I've been purchasing on eBay. So uh, earlier this year, I had an expensive uh, e-bike battery uh, die on me, and I'll show you what I did was I tried to sal uh, salvage all the batteries. You can see that this, you know, this was welded onto a battery. Um, you can see that the uh, the positive still has little burrs. So I have about 80 of these batteries, and this is going to be used for future projects that I have. But I'll show you what I do with batteries such as this. This was from an, um, an all-cell battery. And uh, somehow I think uh, the uh, either the BMS or a row of the batteries, um, something went wrong. So I said, you know what? If I, I can't fix this myself, I don't know how to... I don't have that type of expertise, so it was sitting. Uh, it was sitting on my desk for a long, for a couple months. And I said, you know what? This is never going to get fixed. I just want to do something with it. So I took it all apart. I'm going to save all the cells because I know the cells are good, and then I can use it for other projects. So I had an idea of, well, maybe do you want to uh, make a uh, new pack out of this? And the answer is actually no, because. When I uh, when I ride my e-bike, I don't want to be uh, stuck somewhere. Um, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos about people who build their own um, bikes using 18650 batteries, and they always complain that they are like kind of hot and they're overheating. And I don't want that. Uh, I'd rather get my nice um, uh, like a lunacycle battery. Or that basically lose cycle battery. You just want to get something good that's reliable, dependable. So if I make my own battery, uh, e-bike battery out of these, I don't think it would be reliable or dependable, especially using um, recycled cells like this. So what can you do with these batteries? Well, there's a few things you can do. The, the most popular thing is is to use these 18650 batteries with uh, flashlights and that's what my uh, my co-workers and that's what we've been doing is buying different uh, flashlight batteries and that seems to be working pretty well too the second thing that I've been using is something like this which is a um, power bank now you can see there's one two three four five six seven eight so you can put eight of these into this power bank and you can make a quite a, a massive battery. And this is what it looks like. I have about uh, five or six of these. And, it, and um, they're great to have around the house. I'll show you. So you can press the button. It tells you uh, uh, the percent charged. You hold this down. You have a light, which is actually really good. And then also, if you look at here, you can see that there's a 1 amp and a 2.1 amp. This is a 5 volt output, and it does have a fast charge. It has an, out, like an output of 2.1 uh, 2 amp, 2 amp, which is really good. So, in looking at um, battery banks on eBay and stuff like that, I suggest looking for one that has a 2.1 amp or 2, 2 amp output, or else this is be kind of slow. What I like about this one also is that there's two places where you can um, plug into a wall. I like the, 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 the flashlight feature, and um, it works. And it's a, you know, it has eight batteries in it, and this one has. I don't know, it says 30,000 amp hours, but it, it's good. Uh, a couple, actually, a couple weeks ago, uh, the power went out here, and this thing saved me. You know what? I put one in each room, I turned on the batteries, and uh, I had my phone going. Everything was good. So um, I'll give you a link of where I found this on eBay, and this way you can get one too. And they're really inexpensive. It's about, it was about 450 shipped to your home, so it was really good. 
So what came in the mail today, and I'll show you, um, let me show you what things that I have here that I've been using. So this is a fan that came um, in the mail today. Uh, it's relatively inexpensive. You can see that um, there's a low, medium, one, two, three, and a, a high setting. You turn off and on the fan. There's also like a little light here that goes on. And this is like one of these batteries. I put them in here. And this is one of the few uh, 18650 batteries, uh, fan, oper uh, fan operated batteries that I have. And you can turn it on. And one thing I like about this fan. Well, there's a couple things. First of all, um, when it was uh, when it was, they shipped to me, I didn't notice that it had a battery cover, so that was kind of missing, which was kind of disappointing. But it's okay. Um, maybe my next one that I purchase will have it. And uh, this is kind of quiet too. I've been using it all day, and it feels really nice. You can just turn it off and on. Just like that. And you can also charge it, I guess, while this is on by plugging it into the, uh, the bank here. So it's charging up as well. So this is one type of fan, and uh, this is really great if you have it at a desk, and uh, it makes everything nice, and um, cools everything off. So it's really a small little uh, inexpensive fan that you can get to use with all these uh, 18650 recycled cells. So before, before I was using this, let's turn this off. I had uh, this type of fan, and this works pretty well too, but it's um, not as good as this one. I'll plug it in, and I'll show you what it sounds like. Just a moment. This one goes too. I have it to the, put the power bank. It's going. You know, it's a little louder, a little noisy. It doesn't give as much air as something like this. But it is very, you know, easy to use. Maybe it's a little bit louder than this one. So, it has a nice, like I said, the neck. You can put it in all different positions. And they're like plastic uh, fins on it. This is a little bit of glue that I had because it was uh, the fan was coming off the base. So not as good as this one. So uh, if you find this on eBay, I'll give you a link, and then you can also uh, check it out. So uh, this is a real winner. Um, like I said, it has eight of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then once you put the batteries in, you have, they all go uh, only one way. And then you uh, close the case, and here's the case. And then it's kind of locked in there. You can't really open it up. It's kind of hard to pry it open. So you get, so what I do is I write down the voltage, and I put a mold here. And then um, this came in the mail, and it uh, works really well. So I just wanted to show you. Um, my 18650 battery collection from a recycled also battery. I wanted to show you these uh, power banks that I've been buying off of eBay. And these are really good. You can give them as gifts to people or you can use them when the power goes out. Keep one in your car, keep one at work. And then also a um, 186, just like this, 18650 battery. That, um, oh, here's some information regarding it. And that's really about it. I um, hope you like my inexpensive uh, eBay purchases, and um, I'll see you next time. Goodbye now.